Welcome to Jalapeno Johnny is what I think and what I run. Delivering the most unasked content at your benefit or your mercy. You didn't ask for it, so of course I deliver. Stay tuned. Welcome back. As promised, uh, my rifle. Daniel Defense DDM4 V7. It is clear, no mag in it, nothing else in there, nothing else in the chamber. Uh, we'll do this uh, classic tip to butt. Um, first off, this is, like I said, DDM4 V7. That's got the seven sided M lock rail, Picatinny on top, uh, 15 inch rail, 16 inch barrel with a Daniel Defense version of their the A2 birdcage. This MSRP starts at, this is just an MSRP, yes I do have my notes right here, 1870 is the MSRP on this. Um, leaving the shop, I picked up the Magpul backup sights, um, also known as the n -bus. These are just regular polymer Magpul backup sights. Uh, nothing special about them at all except that they fold away and I really like that, that they fold away. Um, the front one MSRP is $39.95. Shortly after that I have the Cloud Defensive Rain 1.0 that's supported by the Arisaka inline scout mount. The Rain MSRPs at $379.99. Comes with the light switch that has your constant pressure and your momentary pressure um, to turn off, to actuate the light. Don't know the Candela and stuff and the lumens right off the top. They're really good. This is the full size. I went with full size because the gun's huge. Not a, not a small gun. Plenty of real estate on the rail. Um, then I have a little T Rex arms strap. I don't know what he calls it. That's just a bungee cord um, with a little plastic holder. The axe is very, very handy. Um, let's see, going from there. Uh, so the DDM4 comes with this uh, front foregrip. Everyone uses theirs a little different. I don't kind of, don't like broom handles, sweeping rooms, or nothing. Underneath here, I have these rail color covers. You can kind of see them in there. And those are from Magpul. Uh, pretty cool, I like them. I put Howie's tape on here, um, just for a little extra girth. The rail's pretty slim. Um, so when it's wet, this gets a little tacky, which is nice. Uh, on our way back, I have the, I can't remember the MSRP on these. Um, I have the EOTech EXPS 3-0, which uh, in tan, I really love it. Um, EOTech's my go-to. There's tons of red dots that, you know, you argue the battery life is superior, which it is most battery life is superior and it has to do with all of the science behind the holograph how they have like 10,000 lasers rather than one laser token red dot uh, but if you use it you know just, just I don't know just just use it turn it on turn it off uh, until you figure out something else uh, supporting that oh this MSRP is at 769 uh, right off the website, street price is way lower. When I say way lower, like 100 bucks lower. I've seen them down at like 600 bucks in some places. Um, this is supported by a Unity Tactical. Um, this is the FDE version of their optic riser. Um, I like the riser. I'm not going to get into it, but I love having that line of sight right up here. Heads up display. You know, just able to look around. That's me. I put this. I can go probably two more notches further to have more of a clear view around. Um, but this is the complete rifle. So 
It's got damage fence upper and lower. Um, right behind that, I have my uh, Magpul uh, rear backup sight. Same thing, it's there when I need it, it's gone when I don't. Uh, this is $57.95 is MSRP on it. Like I said, I bought front and rear leaving the gate. Um, you know, just leaving the shop, I was already on it. Um, and uh, they work for me because I don't use them. Um, yes, they are for backup. Yes, they are zero. Yes, I know how to use them. Um, underneath there, this is all mil spec. Uh, hardware. Uh, Dan Defense comes with Ambi Safety Selector, uh, which is great to use, uh, great to get used to using. I love Ambi, just an Ambi lover, so sweet. So, uh, still kind of cheap of me. I went and got a $30 uh, Magpul Bad Lever. Uh, these are great also for weapon manipulation, battery manipulation, and just send it, still got to send it. Um, a lot of people stray away from bad lever. Um, you can do whatever you want. It's your rifle. I like them personally. Um, so everything's stock on this, uh, except for I did change out my... Um, my buffer and buffer spring. Um, still the same buffer tube, uh, but the buffer spring is actually the Geisley Super 42. Um, I put the H2 buffer in there. Um, it uh, made it softer, and because these, I'm not even gonna get into over gassing. Uh, we'll talk about ports or gas ports another time. Um, also gets the twang out of there. Just hear that weep, 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 weep. Um, so yeah, they used it, Geisley Super 42. It's actually three braided wires as they make the spring, and they put them in the. Um, they got the idea. Well, I don't know if they got the idea, but it's the same spring they use in the German. What's it called? The MG 42 machine gun. Uh, so they beat the shit out of it. So that's going to conclude our Daniel Defense Rifle Loadout. I will put links in the description down below. Just the manufacturer's links. Uh, you can go anywhere else. Use some Google and search and find your favorite manufacturer. There's tons on the gram. Or not manufacturer, but your favorite uh, retailer. Retail, retailer. Um, so that way you can get some good street pricing. Um, I don't drop any names. So that's why I'll let you do your own research. If you want, you can follow this channel. I'll be doing as much as I can to just get this information out and share with you what I got. And, you know, what I think and what I'm running. So it's been great. It's been fun. Keep sucking until you don't suck anymore.